We're going to do an experiment very similar to a Galileo experiment. We're going to give a car to push along a track, but we're going to use a motion detector and measure the acceleration of the cart. Then we'll adjust the friction between cart and track and repeat trials for less and less friction. Here's our first trial with maximum friction. This is a speed versus time graph. If we find the slope of the line, what we're finding is the acceleration. It's, point, it's negative 0.895. We're going to enter that into our table. We're going to adjust the friction to heavy friction, a little bit less than what we had, and try again. Here it goes. With heavy friction, the slope of the line is negative 0.088. 0 .08, 0 0.808 is the acceleration. We'll enter it in the table, adjust the friction to a little less friction now, medium friction, and conduct the trial. With medium friction, the acceleration is negative 0.577. We'll enter that into our table, and then we'll try low friction trial. Here it goes. With our low friction trial, we notice the acceleration is getting less and less. It's negative 0.254. We'll enter that into the table and conduct a trial with very little friction. Well, now that line's almost horizontal, and the slope of it is negative 0.053. Now we're going to ask the question, what would happen if we could have zero friction? If we could configure the system with zero friction and then begin to extrapolate the data that we see here in this table, what we might conclude is that with zero friction, there would be a zero acceleration. That is, start an object to get it going, and it would continue moving with a constant speed in the same direction, a zero acceleration. That's Newton's first law of motion. You can find more resources like this one at our website. You can find links in the description section to both, both videos on YouTube and resources on our website. Thanks for watching.